by popular demand today we're doing ryzen master welcome back to the channel guys this is hardware sense my name is ivan a lot of people have requested for me to do a video on ryzen master and how can they enable their xmp profile on the memory that method will work with pretty much any amd based pre-build including the hp uh, pavilion gaming desktop including the omen 30l including the 25l all the new line of omens uh, hp envy um, i've tested pretty much all of the uh, hp pre-builds at the moment now this is probably going to work on uh, dell as well lenovo some of the other companies i have uh, no doubts about that so let's get into it right away and i'll show you how simple it is to uh, go with it it's probably five minutes process no longer than that all right all you need to do is just type in your favorite browser no matter what it is chrome uh, firefox edge whatever you guys are using go to the link that is listed below in the description of this video it's a direct link to amd's website where you can download the uh, ryzen master uh, once you downloaded it, uh, locate where it's uh, in your computer, uh, install it and reboot your computer. Once, uh, once the computer has started again, you can start the Ryzen Master. You're going to get a few messages, warnings and so on and so forth. Uh, but go ahead and open it. Now, before we proceed, quick disclaimer, I just wanted to say uh, make sure, especially if you are doing it for some of those pre-builds, don't mess around with too many things. I personally advise you not to go anything uh, beyond just to enable your XMP profile for the memory. I would not overclock the processor. I will not do any of that stuff because the VRMs on these pre-built computers are not that strong. Uh, the, the Omen 30L and 25L, it's a little bit better, but still I do not want to go through the route of uh, overclocking a processor through software. It's not how it was supposed to be done anyway. Moving on to it real quick, you will see several different profiles in uh, Ryzen uh, Master. We have the default, uh, we have Creator, we have Gaming, and we have two other custom profiles, Profile 1 and Profile 2. You can choose either one of those, gaming one or two, or create your own custom. But personally, what I do, I will choose either profile one or profile two. Uh, and I will click on the little uh, enable disable button on the left side where the memory is. So it will give me a control over the frequency of the uh, memory. So from there, it's very easy. Just move the slider where exactly you want it to be for your specific memory. For example, I have 3200 MHz uh, HyperX Fury by um, Kingston. So my slider will go to 1600, uh, again, multiply by two, that will give you 3200 MHz. And once this is done, just apply and reboot. Easy as that. Another example, if your memory is 3600, megahertz you can go ahead and move the slider to 1800 again apply reboot and you'll be good to go so really depends on the speed of the memory you are getting again i advise you don't go over it don't exceed the maximum advertised uh, frequencies on that specific memory you bought so just to be safe and not have any problems so what I did for my 3200, again, I moved it to 1600, apply, reboot, and the computer is good to go. And keep in mind, this is done on the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop. It's not even on 30L or 25L. So this is really, really simple computer with not too much going on for the VRMs. So again, it's uh, completely safe. Uh, the memory has made to run at that frequency. It's uh, advertised by the manufacturer for that frequency. So it will be working with no problem. Once I reboot it, it shows 3200 MHz uh, everywhere, around the 3200 MHz, and you're gonna see improvement, uh, not only on your day-to-day -day work, but especially with Ryzen, we know how much Ryzen is affected by the frequency of the memory. So having it from uh, 2666 to 3200, it's a big jump. And you will see even in games, you're looking at something between three, four to five uh, FPS, depending on the game, uh, boost just from the uh, upgrading the memory. Uh, or boosting the memory to its proper X XMP profile. Uh, unfortunately, uh, HP is not giving us an option to enable it uh, through the BIOS or any other way. 
So uh, using the Ryzen Master, it's very easy and very, very safe. So I advise you, if you want to uh, reach the full potential of the memory you bought to upgrade your computer, go ahead and use it. Uh, but don't mess around with any other settings. It's a far powerful tool. So I will stick only with the memory settings. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. Real quick video on the Ryzen Master. A lot of people requested that. You'll see how simple it is to download, install, and just uh, move uh, the slider over to the memory frequency that uh, the memory you bought is advertised at. This way, you can use the full potential of the memory and you can boost the performance of your CPU and overall performance of the uh, machine. This way, you're gonna get better uh, frequencies, uh, better FPS, uh, better speed. Uh, and for me, it's definitely worth it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much, guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. There will be a lot more coming uh, very soon. Uh, and until next time, guys, you have a wonderful day.